Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today we're going to be redoing these corbels that I picked up from Goodwill. So if you guys are interested, then keep watching. Alright you guys, so let's get into this. Like I'm super, super excited about this video. Um, this is a very, very budget friendly transformation. As you can see, I have these wooden corbels I picked up from Goodwill for $2.99, you guys. And when I saw these, I was so, so excited. If you guys don't know, me and my husband, we're also in the process of finding our home. So I've been collecting little things here and there. And I saw these and I thought they would be a perfect addition because um, we do want a home with a fireplace, you guys. So if the fireplace isn't looking too hot, um, I wanted to, you know, somewhat dress it up. And if we don't have a fireplace or we can't find a home with a fireplace i'll just you know use them as like bookends or something just to make use of them i'm sanding them down using a reusable sand block that i picked up from my local walmart you can find these like in the wood stain section or the paint section and i am just sanding them down i am going to clean them up i'm going to be using chalk paint today and the sealer um, I'm using literally what I already had on hand you guys so I didn't have to go to the store and buy any of this because I had already bought it and that is a great way to save money slap paint on something that is such a quick fix you can also really transform an item so like I said I'm sending them down going in with my tack cloth also pick that up from Walmart I'll have everything that I use in the description box down below including the price the brush that I use I picked up from the Dollar Tree you guys don't sleep on the Dollar Tree they got some nice paint brushes. I just literally washed the paint brushes after I get done using them and then reuse them for the next project. So one, I'm saving money and I'm not wasting, you know, a paintbrush that could be used again. So I'm just going to do that and, you know, let you guys watch me paint. So I am going to be going in with the color Ivory. It is by Waverly. It's their chalk paint. And I did want a nice clean white, but I felt like a true, true white would be too white and too bland, you guys. So I wanted something with a little bit of warmth, one that pleased myself, but and also, you know, my husband, because he also has to deal with this too. So did that. And I will say this, when you're using this chalk paint, Diluted with a little bit of water because that Waverly chalk paint is so so thick and I wish I had done that for the first coat because it went twice as longer like the paint stretched the coverage was still nice because the paint is also so thick like as you will see but I really really like this chalk paint I highly recommend it and it's budget friendly you can find it at Walmart you guys and the wax that um, you can buy with it is really really good the small bottles are like $1.67 and they really go a long way because I've used the same Waverly chalk paint bottles for multiple projects now so I highly recommend that if you guys are in you know trying to transform an item or transform a space or piece of furniture to use chalk paint because a little bit really does go a long way. So let's add this sealer on these corbels. I'm going to be using the Waverly's clear wax and I was thinking about using the antique wax just to make it look aged 
and really really pretty but um, it has a lot of details and I just wanted it to be on the leaf part at the top and on nothing else but I decided to go against that because one I was afraid that I was gonna mess it up and I don't want to have to like remove it and like sand everything back down and repaint it so I just decided to go the safe route and do clear so um, I will continue to put the wax on this product really does go a long way so I really wouldn't suggest using a crap ton like I did I used too too much and I actually have to go back and you know spread it out evenly and even like split it between the second corbel because I put a lot on the first corbel and I did put about three to two layers no two to three layers and it is sealed it's smooth I did go and buff it out to give it that shiny look that I was going for and it's absolutely perfect now hopefully in our new home well our home that we find it will have a fireplace because I really want to use these you guys like I really really I really really want to use these I cannot talk today but I'm just gonna continue doing this I'm gonna allow this to dry buff it out make it look nice and this is what it looks like after all right so this is what it looks like now I really really like it I think it looks really really good especially compared to what it looked like before but that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little DIY and have a good day